Hello and welcome to Excel Dashboard Templates.com. This is Steve True. Please visit my blog at Excel Dashboard Templates.com so that you're sure to get the latest charting techniques, tips, and tricks and learn everything about Excel. Okay, today's part one of a two part series where I'm going to show you how to create a dynamic chart that uses a pick list. So you'll see right here I've got this chart in Excel. Right now it's showing the revenue and it is locking up to this cell in F1 where if I choose revenue, and then change to expenses via this pick list you'll see the chart changes and now shows expenses if I choose net revenue you'll see the chart changes to net revenue so first part in this series is you really need to understand how to make your own pick lists in Excel then I'll show you how to tie your chart in the next episode to that cell so alright the first thing you need to do is you need to determine how the values in your pick list are going to be created. Are they going to be from a list in your spreadsheet? Like you see here in bell, uh, cells B4, C4, and D4. Or do you just want to type them directly into the pick list? So uh, since I already have these here, I'm going to show you that technique and then we'll show you the typing in technique as well. Okay, so let's go over to a blank chart. And so you can see I've got my data set up here as well. I've got the display. And I'm going to put the pick list here in cell F1. So first what you, do, you need to do is select cell F1. Then you need to go up to your data ribbon. From your data ribbon, you're going to see this button here that says data validation. It doesn't say pick lists. It doesn't say drop down list or anything like that. It says data validation. So this is what throws a lot of people off. Click on that button there. And now you will see you have a data validation dialog box. Your validation criteria, instead of allowing any value, what you want to do is you want to make it a list. So you'll see that's the th fourth option down. Once you click on the list, you can actually then choose your source. You see a little spreadsheet icon right there. It means you can go click in the cells in your spreadsheet. So since I already have my lists here in cells B, C, and D4, if I just go out and highlight those in my spreadsheet, it's already entered those in as a fixed list. Let's click on OK. Now you can see if I go back to cell F1, I've now got this little drop down arrow right here. If I click on that drop down arrow, you'll see my three choices revenue, expenses, net revenue. And that's how you create a pick list. Let's show you the other way if you don't have a list in your spreadsheet and you want to make it a static list. So let me undo that. Undo that one as well. Let's go back up to data validation. Now you still want to pick the same one under data validation. And instead of doing a source of a range of cells, you can just type in net revenue, revenue, and expenses. You just need to separate them by a comma. As you can see, I've done there. Click on OK. Go back into the cell, and you'll see you have those three choices in there as well. So that's how you create a pick list in Excel. It also works in Google Spreadsheets uh, on your Google Drive. So if you need to do that in either one, it's called data validation. It's under the data ribbon, this button here that says data validation. Once again, this is Steve Equals True at Excel Dashboard Templates.com. Please visit my blog and sign up for my blog. Also, don't forget to sign up for my YouTube channel so that you're sure to get the latest post delivered directly in your inbox. Thank you.